Finally, the moment has come! Hey guys, it's Lena. I hope you're all amazing. And if you are not, I hope my video puts a smile on your beautiful faces and makes you laugh. Please forgive me that this video is a day late. I did say on my Twitter that it would be. And this video is, as I said, I mentioned in my last video, it is a first impressions video that I have not done of the sorts for a long time. I think the last time I ever did a first impressions video was for Attack on Titan. So that was sometime mid, like, last year. You know there's always that one series of so many years that so many people have nagged you to watch and then it's like finally the moment has come! Let's just get it out of the way. It's freaking Hunter x Hunter 2011. Woo! So I'll be honest right off the bat, Hunter x Hunter is not a series that I was very, very wanting to desperately watch after all this time. So I'm watching a bunch of, you know, spring season 2017 stuff, as you guys know. But at the same time, I wanted to watch something in between all that. So my first impression of Hunter is from episodes one through seven, because that is as far as I've been able to squeeze in. And I just really, really wanted to do this video as well. So. A brief synopsis of Hunter x Hunter, many people will know, but I will go through it anyway briefly, is we have our main protagonist, Gon, who's about 12 years old, and he wants to become a hunter. I'm not sure exactly still what that kind of involves. And he lives on this island called Whale Island, and eventually um, his aunt will only let him go if he can catch, like, this... Um, Lord of the Lake or something, this giant fish, God of the Lake, something like that. He eventually does, and Gon's real ambition is to follow his in his father's footsteps because he left the island to take the hunter exam. A uh, hunter exam you have to get through and it's not um, easy as pie on it, let me just tell you. Uh, I learned that with the hunter exam, it's like basically life or death put in these stupid situations and you go through all these phases. Somewhere along the way, meet up with his dad because his dad's not been back to the island so many years. He pretty much abandoned Gon and that was kind of sad to kind of hear it was. And yeah, he, this 12 year old little gone boy with adorable green hair, by the way. He wants to go and take the Hunter Hunter exam. Crazy, right? Life and death. And along the way, he meets like these three other um, friends. I guess it's all about how he ends up becoming maybe a hunter. I've not got that far because I learnt with Hunter Hunter, there's all these different arcs, and the one I'm currently watching right now is the exam arc. The first couple of episodes of Hunter Hunter, I wasn't completely sold on, I wasn't. Um, it, you know, episode one gave me a good introduction into Gon's character, and it kind of sets the pace of the series, of what direction we're gonna go in. But soon after that, through episodes three to seven, I fully became invested. Um, I say I've become fully invested, um, but I when I say invested, I mean like in the characters and of what this show is going to involve. This series reminded me of Rave Master, a series that used to show on like Cartoon Network and Tanam. It's a very series like about adventure and not so much about taking exam or anything about, you know, just adventure, magic, looking for these swords, these rave pieces and that. and. I got that whole vibe from watching uh, Hunter Hunter, the first few episodes. So it reminded me that. So I like the idea of this um, series, the plot concept of like becoming a hunter. Like I said before, I'm not sure exactly what that fully involves. Obviously, life or death situations. Episodes one to four, if I can recollect, um, of gone getting to this point and then meeting the other two characters along the way which is Kurapika and Leo Roy Leo Roy if you has however you say his name K 
Kurapika. He's a very, I want to say he's just a little bit older than Gon. And he's very, it seems of the group, he's the smart one. He thinks on his feet. And I like his character already. He made a very everlasting impression. And then we get to Leroy, which he's, I didn't realise he's an average human. I didn't realise in this series there are people that are not, I guess you would say, like fully human human. And um, he brings out this notion that he wants to become a hunter so he can get all the money in the world. But then it was good to learn through episodes, I think six or seven, the reason that he wanted to have money in that was that there was a friend that he couldn't save. And um, he just there were, didn't have enough money that he could have, his illness could have been easily treatable, but they didn't have enough money. And that's a goal that he has. And um, I kind of I kind of admired that about him, I do. And Gon, the main protagonist himself, oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> I love Gon, he's so adorable. He's kind of a little unaware of his surroundings and kind of sometimes what's going on. I'm just wondering if he'll ever, when he actually meets his dad or sees his dad and asks him, you know, like, why did you become a hunter? And why did you leave me for so long? You know, he, he mentions that point in one of the episodes and he kind of just, the way he says it, kind of just shrugged it off like it was nothing. He was like, what if a real 12 year old said that? That's, um, that's men mentally, that is, um, affects them in the long run. So I'm gonna, hopefully I won't cry when we get to that point. Kilua, um, if that's how you say it, Kilua. And he's the little bratty kid who's like from a family of assassins. I've actually heard about his character before in a fellow blogger friend's post. I read about some of his backstory and that, and um, uh, he, he goes, supposed to go through this quiet transformation because first impressions of him, he's, you know, very bratty and all he wants to do, he took the exam because he thought it would be difficult and hard and find some thrill, enjoyment out of it. This is one bit at the ep end of episode seven where like him, Gong, and the chairman of the actual hunter exam, which is, well, the old man's name, was it um, Nitoro, um, the old guy? Um, he does like some crazy assassin's move and gives him like this deathly glare. And it's like, God, this kid's got some background. <laughs> I was like, this kid's got some serious background going on. Um, there's definitely more to him, there is, um, but I'm very keen to find out. I like Kilua so far, I do. He made a very um, good impression. So all the characters in Hunter x Hunter so far have made a quite a good impression on me. Of the group so far, they've all got their own reasons and they've all got their own little knack for fighting, their own little fighting style and stuff. So it was good to see through up until they actually got to the site of the... Um, where the exam is taking place and it was interesting that they entered this house and then down to an elevator underground and then where we see all these other people that are going to take the hunter and hunter exam and there among all of the participants is one certain character that i was ready ready for basically i have my friend on here anime palooza gigi you guys may have heard of her on here she, her number one husbando ever, if you know, is Mr. Hisoka. And I finally got to be introduced to Mr. Hisoka. And let me tell you, I'll just be honest, Shiji. He creeps me out. Very ruthless. Very set in his ways of what he wants to accomplish in that. And, um... Oh, just how could you how could you not, not get creepy vibes from him? How could you not get how could you not get creepy vibes from him? But he gave me this little glimmer of hope, which was a thing in episode six or something, when they're on the second phase of their exam test, they're in like the swamp area. And he's about to pretty much uh, kill Gon, you know, actually choke him to death. And then he takes this moment and he's like, Oh, you you pass. And I'm like, what? 
He's about to kill him, then just does a 180, drops him on the floor and says, oh yeah, you pass, and gives him like this little, um, little encouraging pep talk. Just kind of left confused, I'm like, you're about to kill him. And then you just go and say you pass. But then I remember Kiri Pika mentions that Hisoka says that both Leoroi and he gone past because um, they live up to his expectations. I guess he's got these stanzas of power and I guess along those lines. But apart from that, I don't think Hisoka is, is not a bad character. It's just very like creepy. But um, this is like very first impressions of Hisoka, so we'll see what happens later on in the series. But yes, Shiji, I can see why that you love him so much. I have to say the whole world of Hunter Hunter is very um, unique. It's kind of a mix of fairy tale and rave master, I want to say, with all these interesting creatures and stuff. Especially the bit where they're all running in the underground tunnel. They're running for like over four hours or something. And then that's that weird um, examiner. He's actually supposed to be an examiner. Looks like a French butler. You know, he's like got no mouth and a moustache. <laughs> I was like, I like the uniqueness in the art style. I like the uniqueness in these different characters, they've all got kind of their own flair. So I don't really care that it's a 148 episode series because I've seen in Yasha, that's 167. So probably gonna take me a while to get through the rest of Hunter Hunter, but um, so far I am enjoying Hunter Hunter, even though the first couple of episodes didn't make a impression on me. If you guys really want me to, um, I have been thinking about it and contemplating about it that I want to actually do more impressions further of the continuous of how many episodes I end up watching, like I guess for each arc, I guess, maybe, if people actually really want to see that. Let me know down below also, you know, what do you enjoy about the series? Why is it your favorite? Because I know it's so many in people's like top 10 favorites to them. But yeah, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions on Hunter Hunter. Again, let me know if you would like for me to continue doing these kind of impressions each time. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe for more craziness. And if you want to keep up with my anime antics, you can follow me on my blog, at Little Kino Anime Corner. And you can follow me on Twitter, Kino Reviews, where it's daily in life. And I'll see you guys on the weekend with a brand new video. And also on Friday for the Clockwork episode two um, of Clockwork Planet. Why did I just say clockwork? I'll see you then. Bye!